The Jungle Adventures. Today we have a book named The Jungle Adventures, Short Stories for Kids, Short Poems for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in the heart of the jungle, there lived a young boy named Mowgli. Mowgli was no ordinary boy. He was raised by a family of wolves and had grown up amidst the vibrant and diverse wildlife of the jungle. Mowgli's adoptive family included the wise and loving wolf pack led by Akela, the fierce yet caring panther named Bagheera, and the happy-go-lucky bear named Baloo. They all protected and nurtured Mowgli as one of their own. Life in the jungle was filled with excitement and adventure for Mowgli. He learned to swing from tree to tree, like the monkeys, communicate with the birds, and understand the language of all the animals. The jungle was his playground, and he was loved and cherished by every creature that dwelled there. However, not everyone in the jungle was as kind as Mowgli's animal friend. There was a fearsome and cunning tiger named Sher Khan who bore a grudge against humans. He believed that Mowgli would grow up to be a threat to the jungle and its inhabitants. One day, Shere Khan confronted the wolf pack and demanded that they hand over Mowgli. He wanted to take matters into his own paws and eliminate the perceived threat. The wolf pack tried to protect Mowgli, but the situation became dire. Fearing for Mowgli's safety, Bagheera decided that it was time for him to return to the world of humans. He believed that Mowgli would be safer there. Bagheera knew of a nearby man, village where Mowgli could find shelter and protection from Shere Khan. Reluctantly, Mowgli agreed to leave the jungle and journey to the man, village with Bagheera as his guide. Along the way, they encountered a host of colorful characters, including the sneaky python Kaya and the fun-loving group of monkeys led by King Louis. Despite these distractions, Bagheera and Mowgli persevered. They eventually reached the man, village, where Mowgli met a warm-hearted girl named Shanti, who became his friend. The villagers welcomed Mowgli with open arms, and he started to adapt to his new surroundings. However, life in the man, village, was not the same as the jungle. Mowgli missed his animal friends, the carefree days swinging through trees, and the sense of belonging he had in the jungle. One day, Baloo and Bagheera came to visit Mowgli in the man, village. They missed him dearly and wanted him to return to the jungle. Baloo, in his jovial and persuasive way, tried to convince Mowgli to come back. But Mowgli's heart was torn between two worlds. He cared for his friends in the jungle, but he also enjoyed the human village and the companionship of Shanti. It was a difficult decision to make. As fate would have it, Shere Khan found his way to the man, village, determined to seek his revenge. He created havoc, and Mowgli realized that his presence was endangering the people he had come to care for. In a brave and selfless act, Mowgli decided to return to the jungle to confront Shere Khan and protect the man, Vilid. With the help of his animal friends and his ingenuity, Mowgli outsmarted the tiger and saved the day. In the end, Mowgli found his true place in the world. He chose to return to the jungle, where he belonged and where his heart felt at home. He knew that he would always cherish the time he spent in the man, village, and the friends he made there. With Shere Khan defeated and peace restored to the jungle, Mowgli continued to grow and thrive in the loving embrace of his wolf family and the support of his friends, Bagheera and Baloo. 
The jungle was his home, and he knew that no matter what adventures awaited him, he would always have a place among the creatures of the wild. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.